One of my daughters asked me for a pumpkin pie recipe, and I thought, well, I really, rather than using canned pumpkin, I kind of like to use fresh vegetables. So we're going to make a sweet potato pie. I have pre-baked two sweet potatoes because we need one pound of pureed fresh sweet potatoes. We're going to use one eighth of a cup of flour, three whole eggs, one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, and I was out of ground cloves, so I have a mortar and pestle, ground up one quarter teaspoon of cloves, we have one quarter teaspoon of salt, one cup of packed brown sugar, one and a half cups of whole milk, and I have here, I'm cheating a little bit by using a, a pre-paired uh, uh, frozen pie crust. This has been thawed out. This is a 10 inch pie crust. What we want to use in this pie is either two 9 inch 2 cup pie crusts, a 9 inch 4 cup pie crust, which is a deep dish pie, or a 10 inch pie crust. We're going to take our baked sweet potatoes, open them up, and we're going to weigh out one pound of sweet potato and then puree it in a food processor. Just scoop out the potato meat. Not getting any skin or real stringy potatoes. You normally have to cook about one and a half pounds to two pounds of fresh potatoes to yield one pound of sweet potato. I'm going to cut up the open. We're almost there. We're 14 and a half ounces. The leftover sweet potato, I'm going to take, mash it with a little bit of butter, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, and we're going to do that for dinner tonight. Okay, I have one pound of sweet potato. I'm going to put it in the food processor. And we will puree. We'll pulp it a little bit first. And until we get a nice smooth puree. The next thing we're going to do is take and sift our flour. Cinnamon nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and salt together into a large bowl. What I'm using is called a tammy, and it's a neat way just to sift everything together. I'll set this aside. And we're going to mix up our spices and flour. To this, we're going to add the brown sugar. And we're going to mix this until smooth. And then we're going to add the eggs approximately one at a time stirring to incorporate the egg we're almost making a, a paste with the eggs Now that we've combined the eggs, we're going to take our sweet potatoes. 
please be careful of the blade in the food processor. It is extremely sharp. There are people that have cut their fingers off with the blade. Take a spatula and take our sweet potato puree, from our food processor, try and get everything out of the food processor. I hate to waste any of the sweet potatoes. We're going to stir this in. Try and get a nice smooth mixture. And then we're going to add the milk. I said add the milk gradually because you don't want to splash it all over your counter. Add some more milk. And now we will add the rest of the milk. And keep stirring until it's completely homogenized. This is going to look an awful lot like a pumpkin pie and taste a lot like a pumpkin pie. Now we're going to pour this into our pie crust. And we may have enough mixture left that we can make another pie. We're going to take and pop this into a 350 degree oven. And bake for approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Set the timer for 30 minutes. We'll know it's done when you stick a knife in it and the knife pulls out clean. So we'll see you back in about 30 minutes. Okay, it's about 40 minutes elapsed. This is our pie. We're going to stick our knife in it. It's coming up, well, pretty clean. There's no, not a lot of jiggle to the pies. We're going to take this out. And we will put this on a cooling rack, let it cool till it's warm. And we will cut it later and serve it with a little Chantilly cream. Our pie is now cooled to room temperature. We've put it in the freezer for the last couple of hours a stainless steel bowl and two beaters. We're going to make the Chantilly cream for the sweet potato pie. And what we're going to do is take one cup of heavy cream. Now, give you a quick education in whipping cream. You have light whipping cream, which is between 30 and 36 percent milk fat. You have heavy whipping cream, which could be 36 percent milk fat. And then you have heavy cream, which could be 40 percent milk fat. Uh, Julia Child preferred using the 36 percent, the 30 percent milk fat. I prefer the heavier, the 40 percent fat, although what we're doing today is the 36 percent milk fat. When I was in culinary school, there was a sign on the blackboard that said fat equals flavor, and we're going to consider that to be the case. Now this whipped heavy cream is in a chill ball. We're going to just whip it slightly. Once we start the cooking. Okay, in whipping the cream, we're incorporating air. 
We thicken it slightly. I have here one and a half tablespoons of confectionery sugar. The powdered sugar works really nice and I have three-eighths of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're going to mix this up now until it forms soft sheet. This is even more fun when you try to do it by hand. See if this holds peaks. Just about. We're gonna whip it just a little bit more. And that should hold its shape, releasing the blades. Now, you don't have to do this at home, but I like to make things look a little bit pretty. I have a disposable pastry bag here with a star trip. Anybody can make anything look pretty good with a star tip. We're going to load our pastry bag up with some of the uh, Chantilly cream. And I have to tell you, this is so much better than buying cream at the store in the aerosol can. Although, in an emergency, it'll work. And putting the cream in the pastry bag, you open the bag up, roll it down so that you can put your hand underneath the cuff, fill the bag, and you can squeeze your spatula, and then pull your bag closed, squeeze things down until it comes out to the end of the bag. Okay, in a 10 inch pie like this, this will cut into 8 portions. We're going to cut the pie in half. We'll cut the pie in half again. And we'll cut the pie slice in half, giving us two slices. We'll ease this out of the pie pan. Again, a nice clean slice. And then we're going to decorate the back of the slice of pie with the chantilly cream. Unfortunately, I don't have any mint leaf, but a nice mint leaf and a shake of uh, confectionery sugar over the top will give you a very pretty appearance. You could also take and put a strawberry sauce or whatever, a drizzle of it around, give you a little nicer presentation. And there you have it.